welcome to my video again friends so as we are covering slowly the basic concepts of agriculture so i have decided to come to the uh, conceptual topics now now we will be reading in this video about the approaches for fertilizer recommendations so we know that there are certain methods of fertilizer recommendations of fertilizer applications but what do we mean by approaches for fertilizer recommendations so let's learn in this video what does it mean by the approaches what do we mean by approaches so the first approach is blanket recommendation blanket recommendation or we can call it as general recommendation this means that blanket recommendation is applying a recommended dose of fertilizer as now in india farmers are applying for rice 120 kg of nitrogen 60 kg of phosphorus and 40 to 60 kg of potassium so this is the generalized or blanket recommendation of fertilizer application it's very simple thing so it is generally recommended for high yielding varieties what i said about rice so here the thing is uh, there is a uniformity in the fertilizer doses and application so for economical efficiency this is being practiced blanket recommendation so coming to the next one is fertilizer recommendation based on soil fertility categories so this approach is practiced in agriculture fields but before that soil testing is done soil is being collected uh, from 10 to 30 cm depth in the field and uh, it is collected mostly when after three crops are grown on a piece of land so after three crops we grow in a piece of land the soil has to be collected uh, from 10 to 30 cm and then we have to check the nutrient content in the soil so checking on checking the nutrient concentration on the soil what amount of nitrogen is present what amount of phosphorus and what amount of potassium we can now estimate that we have to add fertilizers or decrease the amount of fertilizer application in the field so this is based on soil fertility so based on the soil fertility we can categorize it like how much organic carbon is present how much nitrogen phosphorus potassium are present and we can apply so this testing uh, shows a high low and medium value and according to that we have to apply so this is based on soil fertility third one is fertilizer recommendation based on soil test and yield so it is a approach which was developed by the scientists mischelis and bray so what they found is they tried to found a relationship between percentage yield means yield soil and fertilizer means what is the soil condition what fertilizers we have to add and what should be the yield what is our target yield if we are getting the yield with the fertilizer application or not how much the soil is contributing to the crops how much the nutrients can be uptake by the plants from the soil this is being this was being tested by the two scientists mischelis and bray so they gave a equation like log a minus y equal to log a minus c b minus u x as you can see here so this is uh, for calculating the maximum yield so here a is the maximum yield y is the uh, percentage of yield b is the soil test value x is the fertilizer nutrient c is the soil nutrient factor c1 is the added nutrient so according to the soil uh, uptake quality quantity target yield and fertilizer requirement this uh, equation was being developed so according after the test soil test and uh, targeting a particular yield this approach can be practiced in the field so coming to the next one fertilizer requirements based on critical limits so what do we mean by critical limits critical limits is there are certain amount of nutrients which are may be required in small quantities but are very essential for the crop to grow like micronutrients 
so this critical limit for the nutrients is being tested so a multi location means in very in uh, many locations fertilizer trials are being done to calculate the nutrient present in various areas in the field so if there is a field we have to take uh, this uh, we have to apply fertilizer different amounts of fertilizers so that we can find where the growth of the plant is more and where the growth of the plant is less so if the growth of the plant at the area is less we have to uh, take the soil from there and we have to check what amount of nutrients are present there and what amount of fertilizer we need to add in it so this is uh, what if you find uh, that there is a deficiency of any nutrient so this is a critical limit means it requires certain micronutrients and certain addition of fertilizers to that place so there may be a limit or critical limit of any nutrient like nitrogen it may be potassium or potassium or uh, zinc or magnesium manganese anything there may be critical limits of anything so according to that we have to apply the fertilizers so coming to the last one that is the stcr or the very modern approach soil test crop response so this was uh, being uh, established uh, by ramamurthy and uh, some other scientists along with so it was a uh, experiment done to prove that uh, leibig's law equally operates equally for uh, NP and K so this forms that uh, the basis of the fertilizer application means here soil test crop response is very useful to achieve the target yield means according to the yield we have to apply the fertilizer in the field so this is a very efficient method we can from this uh, soil test crop response we can get what the nutrients we have to add and there will not be more addition of fertilizers into the field and the target yield will also be achieved with the limited amount of fertilizers or the required optimum dose of fertilizers so there is a relationship between yield of the grain and the nutrients in this approach so what amount of nutrients is the plant take from the soil and what is the yield that is obtained can be estimated from soil test crop response approach and the efficiency of the fertilizer can also be calculated from STCR so this fertilizer dose calculation also has a formula in this STCR model or approach so these five are certain important models for uh, or approaches which we can practice in fields to find out or we can do any experiment or research to find out what amount of fertilizer is actually required for the region to grow, grow a particular crop in that area so it's a very useful thing and it's a very conceptual thing of agriculture so to know this we have uh, to have complete knowledge of fertilizers before application so that it doesn't harm the soil or crop in the farm so this is all about the video and thank you for watching my video with patience and keep liking sharing and subscribing and i will be coming with further videos uh, which will be very useful for everyone uh, and i hope during these lockdown times i am imparting some knowledge to everyone about agriculture and so thank you like keep liking sharing subscribing and one more important note is whatever uh, topics are uh, you are having doubt it's a request or it's a uh, opportunity that I am providing to every uh, BSc or MSc agriculture students if they are having uh, any doubt in any topic they can comment me below my video so that I could clear it so thank you for watching my video with patience